Yes. <laughs> Republicans and Democrats are united in their applause for the news that a military operation in Syria took down the number one most wanted terrorist in the world, ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Here's the press conference from yesterday. Take a look. Last night, the United States brought the world's number one terrorist leader to justice. Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi is dead. He was the founder and leader of ISIS, the most ruthless and violent terror organization anywhere in the world. He died after running into a dead-end tunnel, whimpering and crying and screaming all the way. So can we at least agree that the world is a better place without this guy in it? Who, Trump or the Baghdadi? <laughs> Which one do you think? But Daddy's a bad guy. I'm yeah. glad he's dead. Trump is now taking credit for all of this. And I remember when uh, when Osama bin Laden yeah we got him, we got was, all the tweets uh, up that he put up was uh, uh, captured. Yeah, he said uh, you know uh, are, Obama should not be taking credit for this because the Navy SEALs did it. Well, in this case, the special ops or whoever they were did this thing also. So maybe he should back off a little bit and stop bragging about it so much. Yeah. I think I think we can all agree that um, it is important to to battle ISIS, and certainly he was the self-proclaimed leader of ISIS, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so this is a, a good thing. Um, my problem <coughs> is that, at least by New York Times reporting. Uh, folks inside of the intelligence community are saying that this operation was done despite or in spite of President Trump, not because of him. And they're also saying that he had this sort of selective notification about the operation. So rather than inform Pelosi, rather than inform Adam Schiff, rather than inform Schumer, the gang of eight people that are supposed to be informed of this kind of operation, he informed just two people instead of all eight. And I think when you are um, conducting this kind of operation, which is so important to the national security of our country, Country, mm -hmm. you don't um, remove yourself from the chain of command. You don't remove yourself from the natural, the norms of reporting. And it just concerns me that even in something like this, he just doesn't follow the rules. Right. He just doesn't follow the rules. I'm, it's, a, it's a huge deal. It's a big deal. I mean, this is the biggest death of a terror leader since Osama bin Laden. Mm -hmm. And I'm the believer that a president like a CEO, when bad things happen, you get the blame. And when good things happen, you deserve some credit. Um, I'm not, we spend every day on the show with the tit for tat and finding a reason to, to hit on Trump and to say what a terrible president he is. I'm not going to do that today. I'm not going to waste any of my time doing that because you know what? The men and women that were involved with this, they don't deserve it. They do not deserve that conversation today. They deserve to be praised for what they did in that mission. We are praising them. But, but I, I just think we need we to are. take a breath and focus on how this came to be. This has been in the works for years. You had none of our men and women that died in the process. And while Trump would love for us to be talking about him, I'm sure, I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to spend my time. And I'm so proud of this country. We are the very best military on this earth. I, I mean, I thought yesterday, like, when we complain all the time, we still rock. We still rock because we are leading. We are leading this world in this fight against terror. What about the Kurds? I mean, well, the Kurds fought along with us, which says a lot about them, given what we just did to them. <laughs> can I? Can I talk? Sorry. Um, so I want to talk about Kayla Mueller, who um, was a woman from Prescott, Arizona, who was a Doctors Without Borders volunteer who was taken by Al Baghdadi, tortured, kept in solitary confinement, raped over and over again, and actually ended up had the opportunity to leave and didn't and saved other women. And she's a very big name, I think, nationally, but in Arizona in particular. And I think today we honor her, we honor her family. This guy, Baghdadi, was the worst of the worst of the worst kind of scum on planet Earth. And I, for one, hope he's burning in hell with Osama bin Laden. And I don't care if that's on PC to say this morning. I don't care. It's our way of life or the others. When you're bringing up the Kurds, it is a valid point. The Kurds helped us get information yeah. that led to bringing this 
bastard down. But I will say, I remember when Osama bin Laden was, was killed, I was on a plane and the plane applauded. And I was so, I was crying and elated. And I remember wanting to go out on the streets. There was a bunch of people, um, I was going from DC to New York, but there were people celebrating. And I wanted to celebrate yesterday. And there was not this feeling of celebra celebration in the way that we should take these wins. Because it's a win for America. And it's a win for democracy. And it's a win for freedom. And it's a win for people who don't believe in torture and raping young women who are just volunteering with Doctors Without Borders overseas. And I <coughs> I really think at this moment, my all of our hearts should be with the Mueller family today. Yeah, that's a great story. Yeah. And I, I, I agree that this is a win for the country and that certainly we need to honor the men and women um, in our armed forces that executed this and our allies like the Kurds um, who President Trump necessarily didn't think first. In fact, he thanked Russia first. Well, we were using um, Russia's that, so that, that is a cheap attack line, Sonny. Oh, I think it's the were, truth. Were you in the I think it's the truth. truth. Were you that's in the, what okay. happened in real okay. time. It's not an attack line. And so I think that's why, why you're not, were you in the situation that's why you're not room? hearing No, but the, were you in the, the situation of, room when the information not, was coming was in? Was he in the situation room? I think that's why you're not hearing the, the um, sort of patriotism that you heard when Osama bin Laden was taken down. And well, that's why I think when he showed up at the World Series, people were yelling what they were yelling. You heard news, you, you heard but, lock him up. First of all, people don't feel like they support this can I, president. Can I, can Wait, that's what I really quick. The World Series is the swamp. It's a bunch of lobbyists and people in D.C. that can afford to go to the fifth World okay, Series. Just, in a lot of okay, just hold so, up a second. Hold up a second. We'll come back <laughs> and finish this conversation. Yeah. Okay.